is Sports of 13, it's Australia Oceania Channel with the latest on the severe weather impacting New South Wales and Victoria. Duo Meteorology um, Victoria has in place a severe weather warning for damaging winds for the East Gippsland, North East, the rest, South Gippsland forecast districts. And strong and gusty southwesterly winds now easing from the west due to a strong cold front that has moved to the Tasman Sea, leaving a vigorous southwesterly air stream over Victoria, damaging winds averaging 50 to 60 kilometres an hour, peak gusts of around 90 kilometres an hour forecast across parts of the Gippsland Coast Eastern Ranges today. However, the damaging winds are expected to ease below water threshold during the late afternoon. Locations that may be affected include Matakuta, Mount Borbor, Horse Creek, Mount Othman, Mount Border and Omeo. Severe weather is no longer occurring in the central and southwest districts and the warning for these districts cancelled. Wilson's Promontory, 126 kilometres an hour. Ben Nevers, 106 kilometres an hour. Mount Jenny Brand, 96 kilometres an hour. Cape Otway, 96 kilometres an hour. Early, all early hours of today. Bureau of Meteorology Victoria has a flood watch for the upper Yarra and the train, Thompson, South Gippsland. Minor flood warning for the Trobe, the Yarra Rivers, minor flood warning for the Bunyip, and a gale warning remains in place for the East Gippsland Coast. Strong wind warning, Port Phillip Bay, Western Port, Gippsland Lake, Central Coast, and Central Gippsland Coast. However, the one for the West Coast has been cancelled. New South Wales has a severe weather warning for the Hunter Metropolitan Inamora South Coast Forecast District. Vigorous winds along the coastal fringe and the uh, information really hasn't changed. A deep low pressure system lies over the Tasman Sea while a high is set and in the bite. A large pressure difference between these systems is generating, generating a vigorous southwesterly winds along the New South Wales coast which are forecast to further increase this afternoon as the trough moves through. Damaging winds averaging 55 to 65 kilometres an hour, peak gusts of around 90 kilometres an hour, possible for the coastal fringe of the Hunter district including the central coast the coastal fringe of the Sydney, Itawah, South Coast, Mid North Coast districts. Areas of case with a more southerly aspect are more at risk, and the main period of concern is later this afternoon and overnight. Winds are then expected to ease during Tuesday. And the Bureau also has a hazardous surf warning in place for the Byron, Goffs, Macquarie. Hunter, Sydney, Itawara, Batemans and Eden Coast. You can follow Force 13's outlets. The website, force13.com. Our YouTube page, youtube.com forward slash force13. On Facebook, under the same name, Force 13. And our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 if you wish to get in touch. You can also add Force 13 on Skype, and my personal account on Discord, Fool13, at extension 9094.